Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is another sit down video, but it's a little bit different than what I usually do because um, I'm like right in the middle of cleaning my house and like as you can see there's like boxes and I'm in my, I'm in my um, office that is in the middle of getting remodeled and like furniture and there's boxes all over the place but um, I wanted to sit down because I, I, while I was cleaning and getting my life together I kind of asked myself uh, a very important question which I think we all need to ask ourselves if it's every day, once a week, whatever. Um, but just for us, just to ask ourselves one question, how is my mental health? And it may seem like like the simplest question ever, like why, or, like stupid, like why would I ask myself that? But I think that it's really important to um, ask yourself these questions because it's really important to stay in tune with your emotions and taking care of yourself um, mentally. And especially during the holidays and stuff, I know a lot of people go through a lot of um, sadness and there's just like, it's not actually always a happy time for people. Um, or it is a happy time, but you're still dealing with like the things in your head and you don't know why. So it's really, it's really important around these times to really ask yourself uh, how are you doing and how is your mental health um, and then outside of the holidays um, just check in on yourselves like you're your mate you should be your number one priority because if you're not feeling good and then, then it's hard to make others around you feel good I've noticed at least um, and so you need to take care of yourself so uh, I'm going to talk to you guys in this video just about my mental health and where I'm at um, how I would answer this question if when I ask myself this question um, for today like this is exactly how I'm feeling. I'm gonna be open with you guys about it because I think it's important to show you guys that it's okay. What is this? The first step to accept it, or the first step to change is acceptance. And so I think that you guys seeing that, like sitting down and watching me, listening to me tell you how I'm feeling is important because maybe it'll it'll open up a way for you to talk to yourself um, and to talk or talk to someone else. Maybe. I'm sorry, if you hear them, it's just, I have hardwood floors and they just like to walk around and stuff, so don't mind them. Um, but yeah, so I know I might seem a little ar narcissistic, <laughs> a little narcissistic as well that I'm like talking to you guys about how my mental health is, but that's not why I'm doing this. Um, I would do it regardless if the camera was recording or not, or if the camera was even on or not. I would do this either way because... Um, it's important and I need to be in, tune, in check with myself and in tune with myself and, and what's going on. Um, especially when I find myself being really sad or like kind of down um, and I don't know why. I need to hone in on that and give it some attention so that I can find, even if there is an explanation, I can find steps to making it better. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy videos like this as well before I even get into it. Uh, I think I want to make this like a series on my channel because I think it's obviously it's really important to me um, and I want you guys to know that you're not alone. That's the whole point of me speaking about mental illness is to tell you guys that you're not alone. Like thousands and thousands and thousands of people are going through the exact same things that you are. Um, so you're just going to talk about it. I swear you'll feel better. You'll, you, you won't feel as lonely um, and sometimes you will feel lonely but hey, it's like like steps in the right direction um, so yeah if you guys like these kinds of videos um, before I even like show you what it's really about give it a thumbs up um, so I'll, and I'll keep and I'll continue to do it and I love when you guys like to tell me your stories or share what you're at however you're feeling or thinking in your head with me in the comments um, I like to you know respond back to you guys so yeah definitely leave some comments as well and I'll get to those um, so here we are Sadell how are you feeling how is your mental health um so for the past, I feel like I'm interviewing myself, it's so weird, <laughs> whatever. Um, but for the past couple of weeks, I've been really feeling kind of lonely um, and to the point where like, I'm emotional about it, like I'll just get really sad and like I'm getting emotional now. This is, I swear my channel is not about me being emotional or crying <laughs> in front of you guys. Um, but to the point where like I just don't know I feel like there's something missing like there's a hole in my life um, and I don't know why like I have everything that I could ever want um, I have an amazing family and I have a lot of people who are around who um, I can talk to and and to a point where I shouldn't feel lonely um, but I do anyways I just feel super sad um, so a lot of the times um, and it's it's the holidays for me the holidays is not a sad sad time for me 
um, luckily it's it's time where I'm really excited I get to see lots of family and stuff like that so I'm never really that sad during these times um, but I think that when I when I ask myself this question I think about why I would be feeling lonely there are a lot of things that are different in my life than how they have been in a, before um, so for instance um, I I'm living, I'm not living alone. I don't want that to sound like I'm by myself, because I'm not, I got my husband and, and everything, but he is very often on the road or staying like in Santa Cruz or wherever he has to be, that's where he is instead of being at home. And so this is kind of like the first time that I have been living by myself. I went from my parents' house to my roommate in college to having a roommate last, all last year, living with like, was with my brother and sister-in-law in the beginning of the year and I moved to my own place and then I had um, a friend of mine come live with me so like this is the first time that's really been just be me by myself and I think that's really kind of taking a toll on me um, because I can't you know I can't ignore the thoughts in my head and I can't ignore the feeling of being sad because it was easy like if I was feeling sad or like getting into a, a dark hole um, I would just hide from it and go like talk to whoever was in the house at the time, you know? Like, I like to have a good time, I like to have fun, so that's kind of how I ignored it. Um, but here, it's just me and my thoughts. Me and my dogs, they can't talk to me. Um, that's basically has been what's been, like, my issue. Um, just kind of feeling really lonely, and I, obviously, I've told you guys before, I deal with, majority of the time, I deal with stress and anxiety. Um, but to be 100% transparent, I have dealt with depression before. Um, it's not as common as my stress and anxiety, but I do feel myself kind of sometimes slipping into, when I call, when I say the, like a deep, deep dark hole, I'm talking about depression, I just don't like saying that word, I just like saying deep dark hole. Um, and so I can kind of feel myself going into a deep dark hole. I'm not there yet, and I'm, and I'm doing things to keep myself from being there. Um, so going to the next step of when you're asking yourself this question, how is my mental health? Well, what are you doing to stay out of it, to stay motivated, to stay positive, um, and to not let it control your whole life? Well, for me, if I get an inch of motivation or an inch of energy to do anything, like I am going full force. Like, let's do it all right now before <laughs> before it leaves and it doesn't come back for a while. So I've definitely been taking advantage of that, and I can tell you right now that last year I would not have been taking advantage of the. the tiny ounces of energy and motivation that that would come to me I would kind of like I don't know I would still just be like nah I don't feel like it like I'm just gonna keep being in keep being in my hole but but now it's more so like okay I, I have a glimpse of light let me just run towards it and that's what's been really helpful for me um, if you follow my Instagram you know that I've been taking Pilates and trying to get back to the fitness um, area and that helps a lot because as soon as I like with volleyball for instance um, if I was sad or upset or like feeling kind of down about myself or anything like that I would just go to practice or I had a game and I forgot about it and I'd feel much better but since I've graduated from college and I'm not playing volleyball anymore it's been hard for me to um, find that one thing that I can really like dive into and that will make me feel better and so with the Pilates I feel like that's helped a ton um, not only is it getting me back to like how I want to feel like physically but emotionally as well I can go in there and I just lose lose my mind in the movements and the Pilates and I really really like it um, I have been focusing on let's see what else what else have I been doing Honestly, it's just been saying it's been saying trying to stay busy. Um, I have a really good friend Trisha who, um, whenever like I'm really really feeling down, like I'll just hit her up and like she'll hang out with me at the drop of the hat, which has really been super super helpful. Just to find someone you know who I can talk to, and so I take full advantage of her. <laughs> Thank you, Trisha. But she's been a lifesaver for sure. Um, and so yeah, that's kind of those are like the three main things that I've been trying to do to stay out of my deep hole and to keep pushing on um, and looking forward to the future you know it's about to be 2019 um, it's about to be such a great year because there's so many possibilities and opportunities that we can just dive right into um, and just take full advantage of so that's what I'm doing um, to stay out of that deep dark hole that I can kind of feel coming um, 
But yeah, so that's, it's like, honestly, I said, it's a sh short video, a short clip, nothing too long. Just wanted to talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and so I think I'm going to call this like a mental health self check. That's what I'll call it. Um, and then I'll upload these as much as I possibly can because I want to be as open and as transparent with you guys about my mental health because I think that it's important and I think you guys appreciate it. Um, and I'm hoping it can help you in any way possible. So again, if you like this video, um, give me a thumbs up, comment below anything else you'd like to know about my mental health um, or my journey. Uh, I had that long video uh, talking to you about what I my in a broader sense my mental health but if you like these like little sh mini short videos let me know and then just tell me anything else that you'd like i hope you guys are having a great day night whatever morning that you're watching this and i'll see you guys in my next video